All right, I'm a Frost fans, and we're welcome back to the video. Come on, baby, come on, come on, baby, come on. But guys, I want to do a quick shout out to O T O T O T O T O T C O T O T C the goat. But guys, but guys go, but guys, but guys, but guys go, but guys, but guys go check him out on Supercard. He's a he's a fan. He he's a he's a he's a fan. He's a he's a he's a he's a fan. He's a he's a fantastic guy. He's an all Supercard player. He's a fantastic friend. Here's 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 card. Here's 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 card. Here's 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 card. Here's here's his cards are very perfect ten dude. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, perfect ten dude. Keep 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 the fantastic work. Keep being awesome. Here's team as well. If you guys have to go check it out. Yeah. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can get a whole bunch of the new Legion tier cards, pretty much, which is actually the biggest tier in Season 11, which is pretty cool. And, got, and guys, and guys, and guys, and guys, I'm actually going to be showing you guys a whole lot of, like, different ways how to get them. At least, at least, like, at least the way, like, at least, like, the main ways of getting them for free. As you guys know, at least getting, like, good, better chances of getting them. And, of course, there's actually, a, there's actually a bunch of good chances of actually getting them. It might it might be like some waiting time or grinding or just grinding a little bit. And also keep in mind, and even as you guys are like upgrading your tier as you go, you guys still have good chances of actually getting some big cards as you go as well. So it's pretty cool if you guys are actually this tier, like this right here, this daily, this uh, objective counter. You guys can actually get a guaranteed uh, legion card of a male or male or female, and then you guys have chances at ten male and ten females up up to the tier that you're at. So that's actually really cool. This pack right here, it is called Objective Counter Reward. That's really cool. And remember, guys, this quest right here, this uh, Ray Ripley quest, you guys have bonus chance packs, which then you guys can actually have chances at getting Legion cards, which qu which, 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 qu which which quest packs are really awesome. So that's actually really cool. Yeah. But, of course, one of the, like, the game modes of getting Legion cards, as long, but I said as long as you guys are at that tier, because it's based on your player rarity, which is it. Okay. But it's pretty much going to be in the Survivor. So if you guys actually go on Survivor, and as, as long as you guys are Legion tier, what's that? A lot of this is going to be based on if you're at Legion tier, of course. But as I said, if you guys are at Legion tier, and you need to get more Legion cards, or if you're trying to get to Legion tier to get Legion cards, remember, there's that. But as I said, there's a bunch of other ways you guys can do it without even being at Legion tier. It's all about being patient and pretty much just trying to get some, just trying to get very lucky with, like with cards and stuff. But as I said, it, I mean, it's, there's, there, there's good chances. But yeah, so you guys have the survivor game mode. The next one would definitely be the boom game mode. And I think this one, I don't, I think it's based on your rarity as well, I believe. I think, right? Is it based on rarity? No, it, okay, this one is not. Contains two. Okay, so this one's, it, uh, yeah, it, so it's not based on your rarity. So if you guys actually, so if you guys are actually, you know, successful in winning the boom matches, you guys can actually get it, uh, you guys can actually get Legion cards. You guys can get male and female Legion cards, which is pretty awesome, I would definitely say. The next, uh, the next big game mode, of course, which is always fun, which is PvP. But as I said, if you guys actually, if you guys are actually, it, of course, it's based on your rewards. But as long as you guys are actually at Legion tier, then you guys can actually get the Legion cards and um, and the packs and stuff. But of course, some of these packs you guys can also get. Uh, you guys can actually get the cards as long as you're, I guess even if you're at like an okay tier, I'm not sure. It's like, probably if you're like, at least probably like the second or third best tier in the game, so you guys can still get the Legion cards out of the PvP packs. You just gotta get very lucky and hopefully get a Legion card of a male or a female, of course. Now the next one is uh, King of the Ring. This one is an okay mode, but it's a, but if you guys win, it's pretty much the same thing as Survivor. If you guys actually win, then you guys get a guaranteed uh, Legion card as long as you guys as long as you guys have the right cards to actually make it the Legion tier. You know what I mean? So yeah. So that's one of the big ways. That's another big way of actually doing it. And of course, if you guys are always into big team stuff, you guys can get t you guys can do TBG and Team Stompy Grind, and then of course, and then and then of course, and then and then and then and then and then of course, then you guys have like all the different modes for like for like for like war games, Ring Domination, um, Road to Glory, Giants and Leash, that type of stuff. And you guys can even do like and, and of course, you guys can even do like Last Man Standing, like, well Last Man Standing, Clash Royale, you know. Uh, Clash or is it Clash Champion or and then PCC? As I said, there's a bunch of different game modes you guys can actually get. Wait, that you guys can actually get uh, Legion tier cards and then Legion event cards. There's a difference, and then of course there's like limited. There's like limited edition cards. There's a bunch. Okay, guys. So now the next, now the next big way of actually getting the Legion cards is and is going to be in the campaign. So, but yeah, but as a but here's the thing though. As long as long as long as long as you guys actually complete all of the nest, as long as you guys complete all the stuff. Then once you guys get to it, then you guys can get to Legion. So the so 
So the first, so the first like milestone for the Legion reward will be at milestone number thirty-seven, and it goes all the way to milestone forty-eight. So there's over, so there's over eleven rewards in total, and it goes all the way to the Rock Limited as well. And then you guys also have the Pharaoh Limited Edition, uh, Liv Morgan as well. But yeah, as I said, that is one big way that you guys can actually get the Legion cards there, which is pretty cool. Okay. So okay, so that's actually some of those ways now. Now there's gonna now as I said, there's a lot more ways that you guys can actually do this, which is really cool. Now let me actually show you guys one of the uh, really cool ways, and then uh, yes, yeah, let me show you. Okay, okay, so okay, so now one of the next ways, of course, as you guys know, whenever the whenever the Legion Fusion cards come out, you guys can use gold tokens to get them. Now this is actually one of the really cool ways. If you guys actually if you guys are actually doing the treasure fusion tokens, go check out my go check out my treasure uh, fusion pack opening. Well, my treasure fusion video. Like the cheat on it, but yeah, go check out that video that I posted yesterday if you guys want to know more about this. It's really cool. But as I said, what this pack is, it's actually based on your rarity. So if you guys are at Legion tier, then you guys have a really good chance of actually getting Legion cards. And that's why that pack is really good. And the same thing goes for the card catalog. If you guys want to know more about this cheat right here, go check it out on my one video as well. It's actually really cool. These videos are pretty awesome. Okay, so now this, but here's the thing what's actually cool about this. If you guys actually go to catalog and you guys go to forge, you guys can actually forge a single for cheap, and then you guys can also forge a for a pro for cheap. And not to mention, you guys get all the XP from it as well, which is pretty cool. And, and all the crystals and stuff, the super coins, it's pretty cheap to actually get a single and a pro at the same time. And that actually goes for all of them, including the Legion cards and stuff like that as well. So that's why I'm actually that's why I'm saying that's it's uh it's actually one of the best like things super cards ever added. Now, the one thing I don't know is actually if you guys hit Legion tier, I don't know if it's going to be cheap or not or if it's going to be expensive. So that's the thing I don't know. Okay, so now one of the next things, whenever you guys get to Legion tier, then you guys will have all of these XP packs. Oh, yeah, you guys will have the, you guys will have, you guys will have the, the Legion tier XP packs to actually get like, you know, Legion tier cards and stuff like that. Male, females, you know, equipment, well, well manager and uh, support card, you know, well, action cards, manager cards, all that type of stuff, so. Which is pretty cool. So that's actually another one of the big ways, which is XP, which is pretty sweet. Okay, 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 guys. Are you guys ready to see some of the other big ways? All right, now it's time for Money of the Bank. And of course, a lot of the main ways is actually going to be getting a whole lot of super coins, which is actually going to be in the actual uh, t TV, 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 or uh, money, 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 the bank, TVG, Team Cyberground, PvP, Campaign, and Bundles. So that's actually some of the other big ways of actually getting a whole lot of Legion cards and stuff. And of course, as you guys know, you guys can buy the bronze, silver, gold, and platinum packs to actually get up to Legion cards. These pack, I mean, the bronze, the platinum one seems okay, but from what I've been hearing, these grab bag packs have been pretty good because it goes from metal all the way to Legion cards, and it only costs fifteen hundred super coins. So it's actually cheaper than actually getting a. Uh, so if you get lucky with a Legion card, you guys have some good chances. The next thing I want to do. As as you guys know, you guys can actually do the drop. You guys can do the drop board, of course, as you guys know. And of course, whenever you guys get to the Legion card, then whenever you guys, the first thing, as you guys know, whenever you guys successfully get to the Legion tier, as long as you guys unlock it, then you guys can make the cards and stuff. But of course, but of course, you guys always get your uh, Legion tier card pool on the drop board. And also keep in mind this is your rarity pool bar. Now, whenever you guys get the Legion tier, then you guys can then you guys can actually get more Legion cards, and it'll actually tell you whenever your next Legion uh, tier card is. And then after that, whenever you guys whenever you guys get cards you don't need, then you guys can turn them into dust. And as soon as you guys get a whole lot of dust, then you guys can get a rarity pick to go into the rarity board and actually get a uh, try to get a legion card on the rarity board. But as a, but as I was actually saying though, that's actually another big way of actually getting the legion tier cards, which is pretty cool. So yeah. But now okay, but guys, but guys, but guys, but guys, but guys though, that is actually a bunch of different ways that you guys can actually get the legion cards. Now as I said, what are actually the main main ones of actually getting them? I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would pro, I would, I would probably say like normal would definitely be the boom. The boom mode is a, uh, the boom mode is a tough mode to play. It is doable. You can do it. The campaign is always great to do that as long as you guys do the campaign stuff. PVP is always great. Um, Money of the bank is definitely amazing to do. Survivor is always a okay one. It's always fun because you get a guarantee one as long as you guys at the tier of course. Then you guys also have like the team stuff, TVG, Team Stomping Ground. If you guys do that, then you get a whole lot of like, you know, Legion cards. And then, of course, the catalog, the treasure fusions. But as I said, there's actually a lot to it, which is really cool. And then, of course, and then, and of course, whenever there's like new events that come out, 
new free like new free gifts bundles quests you know qr codes all that type of stuff game modes but as i said there's actually a lot more ways of actually getting more legion tier cards you know of actually getting more of them so that's always nice it's pretty cool but guys but guys but guys though that is how you guys can get a whole bunch of the brand new legion cards and how to get in some really good ways of actually getting the new legion cards for free as well it might be a little bit tricky to get them but for the most part you guys actually have some really good chances of actually getting the new legion cards which is pretty cool thank you guys so much for watching as always guys i love you guys and i'll see you next one peace out love it